Does the gear indicator on your CF Moto motorcycle flash between six and one when you're in sixth gear on the highway? Does the cruise control on your CLXS Sport sometimes turn off when you hit a bump when you're in sixth gear on the highway? The problem is this little guy right here. And I'm gonna show you how to fix it this week on Angelo's Motorcycle. Hi everybody, welcome back to Angelo's Motorcycle. I'm Angelo. I've got the Angelo's Motorcycle CF Moto CLX Sport up here on the lift, and we're going to fix the gear indicator sensor right now. The gear indicator sensor lives on the other side of this plastic panel right here. Now, if you're working on a CLX S, the CLX Sport, which I am here, these, this cover is held on by eight millimeter bolts. If you're working on an Adventura, the cover is slightly different, but in the same exact location, and it is held in with 10 millimeter bolts. So if you're working on a CLX, you're going to need eight mils. If you're working on an Adventura, you're going to need 10 millimeter. The sensor itself is 14 millimeter. You'll need a 14 millimeter box wrench you also will need some electrical tape. Both of mine had electrical tape wrapped around the bullet connector that we're going to disconnect so that we don't twist the sensor wire. So to get started, we need to remove this cover. Let's go. And these are, uh, these should not be too tight. You don't want to make them too tight. I would use inch pounds, not foot pounds, to put them back on. I don't have the specific torque specifications, but uh, they are just threaded into the aluminum case, as you'll see. So don't be uh, don't be going too tight with them. You do not want to strip this out. And there we go. I'll take the cover and it's two eight millimeter bolts. The bolts are identical. So if you interchange them, you know, one isn't longer than the other or anything. And you can see here their screw point, where they screw into. They screw into right there and right there. And this right here is the sensor. I'm gonna take you in a little closer and show you. Right here, that's the sensor. And that washer that's on there that I showed you in the intro video, there's a little copper washer on this sensor. I'm told by CF Moto that that washer is unnecessary. It, uh, what it does is it spaces out the sensor just a little too much so that when it's in sixth gear on the highway, it'll alternate between sixth and first occasionally. Uh, sometimes when you hit a bump. That was the symptom I was having on this motorcycle. I would hit a bump and the cruise control would shut off because the crew control, cruise control cannot be on when you're in first gear. It's the way the computer is programmed. So if the gear indicator blips up to down to first gear real quick, even though you're still in sixth gear and you're still moving highway speed, everything is fine with the motorcycle mechanically. It's a computer thing. The sensor is telling it, oh, we're in first gear, so it shuts the cruise control off. The Adventura, the symptom I was having is the six and one would go six one six one six one six one six one all the time on the highway because there is no cruise control on the Adventura for reasons that defy logic. The 700 has cruise, but the 650 doesn't. I don't know why they don't both have cruise, cruise control, but who knows? Maybe there'll be an improvement that's forthcoming. But so this is the sensor that we need to remove. So I will bring you in a little closer and angle you a little further down. There we go. So we'll take our 14 millimeter box wrench and we will get that on there. But first, what we have to do is right here, there is a little clip holding these wires right here, holding these wires in place. So what we wanna do is we wanna unbend it and then we can bend it back after when we're done. And the wire that we have to disconnect lives in this little rubber tube, and it's the same way on the Adventura. And it is wrapped with electrical tape from the factory, and it is the same way on the Adventura. So have some electrical tape handy so that you can re-electrical tape this bullet connector. I'm sure they electrical taped it for some reason. 
And here is the bullet connector. Now we need to disconnect this bullet connector because if we don't, when we unscrew this sensor, this wire will just get all twisted up. So now we need to just crack this loose. And again, this isn't too terribly tight there. Just a little bit of oomph pulls it right out. Again, this screws right into the case. You do not want to strip this sensor out. So when you, when you uh, put it back in, snug is good enough. Okay, and out comes the sensor. And there's the sensor, and there is the unnecessary washer. I use the word unnecessary because it's the same word that CF Moto used, unnecessary. And here is your sensor. And this being spaced out that little bit causes that difference between sixth and first. So now all we have to do is thread the sensor right back in. And no oil is going to come out, as you can see. Like, I don't have an oil leak now. Um, it's not going to uh, pass through. And, uh, and as you can see, there is no oil leak on this motorcycle, and uh, there is no evidence of oil leak. And I have had this sensor uh, out. I, I had already done the job before the filming of this video. So I've already run the motorcycle with that washer out, and it does not leak. It's not, uh, it's not, it doesn't cause any issues, at least not on my Adventura or my 700 CLX. I've had no problems at all. So now I have hand tightened that, and, uh, and now I'm just going to snug it up a little bit with this 14 millimeter box wrench. I'm not going to go too crazy here. The shifter is right in the way, of course. There. Good and snug. Let me just see. Yep, that's as snug as I want to go. So, now we just reconnect the bullet connector. Okay. The bullet connector is now reconnected, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. Get in there. There we go. Now the bullet connector is reconnected and we'll get some electrical tape and we'll wrap it just the same way it was from the factory. They're probably just being uh, cautious about uh, any water getting in there. Obviously, you don't want water getting into your sensors. It'll cause malfunctions. So they, uh, they chose to use some electrical tape. I figured if I just duplicate exactly the way it was, then I'll be okay. All right. There we go. And we put it back inside this black tube. And uh, I'll point out here, this my extra wire here. That's my battery tender lead. It's from my battery. That's where the dealer uh, ran it when he installed it. So I want to make sure that nothing is near this chain, obviously. And it's in its original routing position, which it is. It goes over here, up through the tube, just like it did before. And we can reinstall this cover and I always like to um, hand thread everything especially when you're dealing with um, you know a bolt that is into uh, aluminum or soft metal um, so I will take the socket and I will put it on this bolt and I will line it up in the hole and I will hand thread it because I don't want a ratchet or an air tool or a power or anything to um, cross thread this. The last thing you want is bolts in your motor case getting cross threaded. All right, so there we go. And now I just need to line this up. There it is. And again, I like to hand thread everything. 
get it started. Actually, these are going in quite far just by hand. And then we can get the ratchet on it. And once you start to approach snug, you'll start to feel it. And there, that's snug enough for me. There we go. And that is how to fix the gear indicator. So now what you'd want to do, take it for a ride, test it out. Make sure that the gear indicator still functions. Um, I can do that here on the lift simply by starting it and uh, working it through the gears. Um, and I will do that after. Uh, as long as you see a one when you go into first gear and a two when you come up into second gear, you've uh, your gear indicator is functioning. And then uh, take it out on the highway and see if your 616161 still does it. It, uh, it shouldn't. This did resolve the issue on both of my bikes. Um, this one no longer turns off the cruise control when I hit a bump on the highway. And my Adventura 650 no longer flashes between 6 and 1 on the, uh, on the indicator when I'm in 6 gear on the highway. So this did work for me. So I make no guarantees that it'll work for you, but this is what I was told by CF Moto when I was working at the American Motorcycle Rally with the CF Moto folks from Minnesota. Um, they, uh, they had showed me this trick because one of the bikes in the demo fleet was doing it, their 650 Adventura. And, uh, and he told me all about it, uh, the guy from CF Moto. And, uh, and, and sure enough, I did the fix on my bikes and it worked. So this will fix it. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up in the comments section. Uh, I love to hear from you all. So please go ahead. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, please. This channel is just starting out. If you, uh, if this video helped you, let me know. If anything you think I could do better, let me know that too. I'm all about constructive criticism and feedback. So go ahead and click that like, comment, subscribe button, share it with your friends, tell everybody. Angelo's Motorcycle will have a video every week. We will be doing, I will be doing tech tips, how to's, just like this one, uh, rides, gear reviews, motorcycle reviews, anything to do with the world of motorcycling, including motorcycle safety. I am an MSF rider coach. I will be throwing some motorcycle safety tidbits in there throughout the video series as well. So come on back and join me next Friday for another video from Angelo's Motorcycle.